Welcome back guys to another video and uh, today I'm going to show you how to auto start your miner when your PC runs out of power and your PC shuts down. So whenever you get your power back your PC will turn on and automatically start mining and apply your overclock settings. So I'm going to show you this example on NiceHash but you can do it with almost any other software and it should work almost the same way. So. How to do it with NiceHash? So the first thing you have to do on NiceHash is go over here, this button, run configure. And click on configure, go over here on mining and press over here auto start mining. Now this won't uh, solve all of your problems but this is one of the things that you have to do. So just click over here auto start mining and you don't have to do any other things. So the next thing you have to do is press Windows plus Air button so you get this uh, screen here. So Windows plus Air at the same time and you will get this screen. Now uh, you have to type exactly this shell double dots startup and press OK and screen like this is going to open. So this screen that you see right here is uh, is folder in which you have all of your applications that should start when Windows starts up. So you can see that my uh, Gigabyte graphics engine starts and my MSI Afterburner, Rain Meter and Nice Hash Miner 2. So all of those programs automatically start when Windows starts up. So to make your program start automatically, you can see that I have pasted over here a nice hash miner to executable shortcut. So just find your nice hash miner executable, make shortcut of it and paste it right here in this startup folder. And nice hash should automatically start uh, when your window starts up and because you selected over here auto start mining, it will automatically also start mining. So you can see that over here I also have MSI Afterburner shortcut and this is because I want my MSI Afterburner to also start when my Windows starts up. But with MSI Afterburner you also have to do a few other things. So open up your MSI Afterburner and you have to click over here this Windows icon so it gets red like this. So this means that your MSI Afterburner will apply automatically all of your overclocks that you have set up. So maybe if you have uh, your overclocks like plus 500 or plus 200 megahertz, it will automatically overclock your GPU and it will automatically start up. But uh, sometimes it doesn't work very well and you have to do one more thing. So click over here on settings. And over here you will see start with Windows. You have to check this option start with Windows and you don't have to uh, try anything else. Just check this start with Windows, press OK and uh, be sure to have this uh, red like this. So start with Windows and click on this Windows right here. And MSI Afterburner should start with your overclock settings just like you have it set up. So now we have a few things ready. We have Afterburner and NiceHash Miner ready to start automatically mining. And this is going to work. But the only way this is going to work is if you press the power button on your PC after your electricity goes out. Now, if you want your PC to turn on automatically, there is one more thing you have to do. You have to go to your BIOS settings and you have to find the option uh, AC back on. This option is most likely going to be in power management or somewhere like that, but it depends on your BIOS settings. So just find AC back on and set it uh, to full on mode. Now it might be a little different on your BIOS, but it is uh, really similar in every single one. So find AC back on and put it to something like a full on mode. So every time your PC gets power back and your whole house gets power back, your PC will turn on automatically. And as we have set it up here, it will automatically start uh, MSI Afterburner, apply your overclocks, and then it will start automatically mining when it runs your nice hash miner. So everything is ready and you don't have to worry about anything anymore and you can just leave your nice hash miner mining for maybe a few months and then just check it, up, check it up and it should also be working whatever happens to your PC. So thank you guys for watching this video. Let me know if you have some more questions about these settings that I showed you and see you soon in another one. Bye.